School of the Midwest in Milwaukee. And we're here to continue to make a difference, a positive economic impact, specifically for micro businesses and entrepreneurs, specifically black entrepreneurs in the heart of Milwaukee. I'm Wendy Bauman, I'm president and CVO of the Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation, and so thrilled to be with our partners today, PNC Bank, who's providing the foundational support for this new, and I have to really share, unique partnership and unique program that we're gonna lay out and share with everybody today. Partners, business owners, applications are live today, and other funders who wanna get in on something that's a pilot program, but we think has great promise. Thank you to the Housing Authority of the City of Milwaukee for being a long-standing aligned partner and for being, again, in the heart of Milwaukee at West Lawn, a choice neighborhood, and certainly at Promise. And we're at Victory Manor today with a focus on veterans in our community as well as mixed-use housing of West Lawn. So hopefully afterwards, everybody on this gorgeous day will go out there and look at the development. So what is this about? Two months ago, PNC, Chris Scholar at that time, the regional president of PNC for Wisconsin, tapped me on the shoulder and had talked about PNC on a national basis, looking at additional support for businesses that promise, owned by women, owned by people of color, specifically black and Hispanic businesses. And so of course, doing the typical Wendy thing, I bugged him every single month. When are you gonna come out with it? Where is this? What are we looking at? And he tapped the shoulder and he goes, we're ready now, Wendy. And so Thurman Smith, Tony Smith, who heads up New Markets Tax Credits and Investments for PNC, came up with a crafted proposal and said, are you in Wibbeck? And why would they choose Wibbeck? Well, next year for 35 years, Wibbeck has provided quality business and financial training, access to fair and responsible capital, and for those 35 years has focused our efforts entirely on women, on people of color, and on lower wealth. So we are a good fit for this program. How is this program different? It's four pillars as I see it, and everybody will speak a little bit to that pillar. But one pillar is the continued work of Wibbeck, providing that business education, the one to the many, classes, workshops, seminars, online, on ground, um, online, on ground, on demand. I know I had three ons. Online, on ground, on demand. This last year and a half, we've done a lot more online and on demand. But we're beginning to do some hybrid programs and breaking bread again with individuals in a safe way. Last year, Wibbeck served over 5,000 duplicated clients in the state of Wisconsin through our training. In the city of Milwaukee, 88% of those clients are people of color, and about 70% are lower wealth individuals. Statewide, about 60% are people of color. So we'll continue that. What's new in this initiative is we're also going to look at gaps around credit history and credit scores. Sometimes those are lower. Sometimes they're colorful credit histories. Sometimes individuals have bankruptcies. Wibbeck is fine in lending to that. But also, if we can look past that, we'd really like to see if these individuals can get some support for recovery and repair around their credit. It'll help them in all parts of their life. And so some of this funding will actually allow us to pay for that, to help individuals with their credit repair. The second piece is some individuals are started, but we want to accelerate them. Or they need a spot to start their business. That second bedroom and back doesn't work for them. So we're going to look at co-working spaces. Business hubs, example, African American Chamber is a new business hub that'll be unleashed in the, re the rest of this year. Co-working spaces, business incubators, hubs. Some of these funds will actually tuition to entrepreneurs to cover the cost for a period of time to get started or to get in that accelerated program. And the third and probably, or the fourth and probably most unique piece is individuals come to us and sometimes they have, they have their sweat equity they know that they have a business plan and they have an idea and they've got a plan for it, but they don't necessarily have their own capital to put into the deal. Banks require it. Wibbeck likes to see some skin in the game. So we have a quarter of a million dollars through this initial foundation support from PNC to put in that piece of equity so Wibbeck can get to yes on the deal or someone else can. Later we might term it out as debt, we might make it a forgivable loan, but that equity will allow us to go from a square of this to say yes to a square of that, and we hope to leverage that. So funders that are out there, let's add a zero to that initial quarter of a million dollars from PNC so we can do more support than 100 businesses in three years that we plan to support. So that's the groundwork for this. I'm very pleased to introduce Chris Herman. Chris is the new regional bank president for PNC. 
He's been at PNC for a significant time since 2004, leading their corporate and business banking, and he'll introduce a, uh, talk a little bit about PNC, and then introduce a few of our other dignitaries and speakers today. Chris? Thanks, Wendy. And as Wendy mentioned, I'm Chris Herman, Wisconsin president for PNC Bank. I want to thank Wendy and her team for all the thoughtful work on crafting this exciting program, Black Business Boost. And thank you to our city of Milwaukee officials, Nikki Purvis and Cavalier Johnson. And thanks to Willie Hines and the team at Hackham for being here with us today and for your ongoing leadership, for being champions of black and brown businesses and the need to realize the full potential of our city. I'm thrilled to announce our support today of a $600,000 grant to launch the Black Business Boost Fund. The Black Business Boost Fund is specifically tailored to provide an economic opportunity to help black entrepreneurs and business owners, both here in West Lawn, as well as other communities in Milwaukee that need more investment and have the best possible opportunity to start a business and to thrive. At PNC, our purpose is to help, to use the power of our resources to help all move forward financially. We recognize that economic opportunity is a critical component of business success and of community success. To help provide this opportunity, the Black Business Boost Fund provides black entrepreneurs and business owners with quality training and assistance from WIBIC, the connections and resources available through Hackham, and critically, the initial friends and family type capital the businesses frequently need to help get started or to take that next stage in their growth. Today, we must be bold about the initiatives that can best position black-owned businesses to start, to grow, and to thrive. We believe this alignment between the public and private sector creates economic vitality in areas in Milwaukee that could benefit from it the most. We'd love to see this program grow and increase in impact over time with the support of other Milwaukee and Wisconsin area civic and business leaders. The foundation is built and built with great partners in WIBIC and with Hackham. I couldn't be more excited to see what our black entrepreneurs and business owners can create. So I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to introduce. Actually, Chris, I made a mistake. We're going to introduce our, speech, our, our clients first. Perfect. You stay okay. With okay. <laughs> okay. 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 You stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. I was supposed. I got so excited in introducing Chris and make sure I got the year he started at PNC <laughs> that I forgot to introduce our, our clients. Because the clients at Wibbeck are always the center of our table. That's right. They are always front and center. They are the MVPs in the room. Appreciate the, the chair of the Common Council. Appreciate the big president here at PNC. But our MVPs at Wibbeck are our clients. So if they would both like to come up, we have Angela Smith here today from Daddy's Soul Food and Grill. Definitely get some treats over there, too, that she provided. And Brandon Hawthorne, a plantivore, to share just a couple comments of how Wibbeck assisted and a little bit about their business. And then you introduce the rest. Okay? Thank you. Hi, as Wendy said, I'm Angela from Daddy Soul Food and Grill, and um, I, I'm grateful to Wibbeck. Uh, we started in 2014, and truly, we, they met us where we were at. They were the water that primed the pump for our business. They started with a $10,000 loan. It may seem small to some, but it was everything to us. And within three years, um, the business had grown so in the clientele that we needed to expand. And they helped us expand from a 1,700 square foot to 40, over 4,100 square feet in our local location of 27th in Wisconsin. Well, 27th in Wales. <laughs> But um, I'm grateful because in that time period, we then got two more loans. One was both were for $25,000 each, and it helped us expand. Little did we know that we were gonna be expanding in the midst of a pandemic. And um, we're getting larger space right when they're shutting everything down and we couldn't have people come in to sit. But I am so grateful for corporations like Wibbeck who help and they, anything that they could do for us, they put us online, they hired us to deliver, Everything that they could do to help us, they were truly there to get us through that time period. Even being our loan lender for our PPP loans, which we were able to obtain over um, $160,000 through WIBIC. And it kept, kept us alive, we expanded, we opened up. I'm so gracious to the city of Milwaukee and the people who have helped us. The people would stand outside around the corner in the rain, even when they knew that they couldn't be inside, but they helped. And Wibbeck truly was a um, sponsoring agent for that to be able to take place. Not only did we um, expand in 2020, we were in the uh, works of opening our second location on 61st and Blue Mound, 
Daddy's on Blue Mountain, a little breakfast joint. And it, it took a while. We couldn't open it until this year, but we opened. And it's all because of the seeds of Wibbeck. Not only that, I would also say, um, as a woman, I went to the classes at Wibbeck to start my own real estate uh, firm, Delaney Real Estate Investment Services. Put it on the back burner for Daddy Soul Food and Grill because that gave us 1.2 million in sales last year. But I was able to bring it back. But all of the knowledge that I gained at Wibbeck for business and accounting and all of that, I'm able to use to help uh, developers and help management companies lease up low-income low housing tax credit properties. When you got that little short time period to fill that space, you know, eight, you know, 800 or whatever many units you got to fill up, we're there to help them as consultants. And we staff at Daddy's over 23 people. Wow. Um, at Delaney Reese, we staff three. And I'm grateful for that. We're small, but we're helping our local economy. And we're black in business, and we're doing business while being black. <laughs> Ariel Hawthorne, and this is my husband, Brandon Hawthorne, and we are the owners of Twisted Plants. We started Twisted Plants in 2019 as a food truck business. Um, we were inspired to start a plant-based business after overcoming some health challenges in our family. And when we changed our eating habits, we noticed that there were not many uh, vegan and plant-based options in our area, and we wanted to change that. And we can talk a little bit about how Wibbeck helped us. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, with that change, Wibbeck was able to provide us with the funds or sources to get that people that was able to, about, to provide grants and things of that nature to help us uh, get better equipment, uh, help with our marketing, help improve our website, and uh, just help expand our customer list. So uh, we really owe a, owe, owe a great deal to Wibbeck for all the help they provide, rather it be uh, just beyond the funding just the different sources as far as like webinars and seminars that uh, different clients can log on to and just participate. So uh, we definitely came through. Uh, that continue to aspire us as far as uh, growth. Uh, we do have a new consultant, Mr. Ed, who uh, called me once a month in regards to, okay, we have another grant available. We have another grant available. Are you, are you willing to do this? Are you willing to do that? So I uh, really appreciate everyone that uh, is with, with it to uh, help us keep growing. Thank you. Really great and inspiring stories. Thank you very much. So next on the docket is Milwaukee's Chief Equity Officer, Nikki Purvis. Nikki, can we have you with you? Good morning, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Daddy Soul Food and Twisted Fork on your commitment to investing in this community with your businesses. Um, as uh, you mentioned, I am Nikki Purvis, and I have the distinct privilege of serving as the City of Milwaukee's a Chief Equity Officer. Uh, Mayor Tom Barrett is unable to be here today, so I am honored to share remarks on his behalf. Those of us that work in and support the small business ecosystem are attuned to the challenges those businesses face and a critical need for more investment and access, especially for Black-owned businesses. The PNC Foundation Black Business Boost Fund's $600,000 grant to support at least 100 Black businesses and entrepreneurs in underinvested neighborhoods is commendable. Thank you for entrusting the Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation to do the work and the housing authority of the city of Milwaukee to lead the outreach to black businesses through its resident and contractor networks and through the Choice Neighborhood Initiatives in and around West Lawn Gardens. It will take this type of leadership and continuous investment to see more black businesses thrive, not only in this community, but across this state, this nation, and worldwide. So on behalf of Mayor Tom Barrett and the city of Milwaukee, thank you for investing in black businesses. Thank you for supporting black generational wealth building. And thank you for trusting that your investment will lead to more racially equitable outcomes. 
Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. And this public and private partnership is so critical to, to the success here. So we're excited to partner with you on that. Next, Cavalier, Milwaukee Common Council President. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to West Lawn. Welcome to the city of Milwaukee. For those of you who are not from here, welcome to the second aldermanic district. Uh, I'm Cavalier Johnson, the uh, Common Council President uh, of the City of Milwaukee. Also, I'm privileged uh, and honored to serve as the second district alderman, of which you're in the second district, not just in the second district, you're in the crown jewel of the second aldermanic <laughs> district here at West Lawn Garden. So give it up for West Lawn Garden. <laughs> you know, I, I, I want to first uh, thank well, I, I heard what Wendy said, and that the, the, the clients of Withering are first, front, and center. So let me just do a, a shameless plug in that uh, I have been to Daddy's. I was there on the first day. I've not been to the location on Blue Mountain yet, but I'll, I'll make it. But 27th Street, I've been there a uh, number of times. It's delicious. If you haven't, haven't had the chance, you should go there. It's, it's great. You'll enjoy it. Uh, my wife works in fitness, and she really, really uh, enjoys twisted plants. And so I've made a couple of trips <laughs> down to Cudahy, down to you guys uh, to get uh, food for my for my whole family. So uh, it's something that really that we really enjoy uh, in our home. So congratulations to both of you, uh, 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 Mr. President, President Herman. I want to thank you and PSC for the dedication you've had, not just here for Black Business Boost, but for your commitment and dedication to West Lawn and the transformation that we've had here over the course of the past number of years, working to make sure that people who live in this neighborhood have the opportunity to live in housing with dignity. Now that's critically important and we thank you for that. We really, really do. And by the way, I like your Wisconsin mask. Uh, on Wisconsin, it's my, my own mind, so thank you, I appreciate that. I also wanna thank uh, uh, President Hines, Director Hines of the Housing Authority who is a tremendous uh, partner with us, not just uh, in terms of this, but working to make sure that people, my constituents who live here in the surrounding neighborhood, in the Choice neighborhood uh, area, uh, have the opportunity to live with dignity and have this, this wonderful anchor uh, that uh, really brings this neighborhood together. So thank you very much, uh, President Hines. You know, uh, equitable access to economic development resources is critical to the health of our city, and more resources are needed specifically to, su to support our community's black entrepreneurs and business owners. Black businesses, uh, the Black Business Boost will provide local tailored support to help expand the community of successful black businesses here in Milwaukee, and it will do so by strengthening our local economy. I've said, uh, especially as of late, that Milwaukee's uh, new economy can't just be a silver bullet approach. You know, we, we tried that. We've been trying that for the past 40 years and just hasn't worked, so we need a new way forward. And one of the ways we're going to improve the economy and make a truly 21st century economy is working to uplift uh, businesses that are started by entrepreneurs here uh, in our city. So it means supporting businesses like Daddy's. It means supporting businesses like Twisted Plants. It means giving people the tools, just like Ms. Smith said, uh, meeting them where they are so that they can not only live out their dreams, but they can provide jobs and opportunities to people who live in our city. That's how we create a true 21st century economy. And PNC Bank, the Black Business Boost, our partners here at, uh, at Wimmick, uh, are helping to make that happen for so many families and so many entrepreneurs here in Milwaukee. And I, I, I couldn't be more thrilled, more happy to join you guys here today uh, in celebration of that. So, so thank you so much again, uh, Mr. President, uh, President Himes, uh, President uh, Bauman uh, over at, over at Wibbick. And uh, I want to wish you know, the uh, recipients who have enjoyed the uh, uh, resources from Wibbick over the years and so many more who will benefit from this uh, additional investment of $600,000 much success in the future. I'm looking forward to visiting your places as well, just like we visited Twisted Plants as well as Daddy's. So, so thank you all very much. Thank you, Cavalier. I'm pleased next to introduce my new colleague in her expanded role, Marquita Hicks. Marquita was recently appointed to lead our community banking development team at PNC here for the state of Wisconsin. Marquita. Please. Good morning. Again, I'm Marquita Hicks, Vice President of Community Development Banking for PNC in Wisconsin. And on behalf of all of my PNC colleagues, I too thank you for joining us this morning. 
What an exciting time, not only for us, but for our neighborhoods and committed organizations like Wibbick and Hackham, who together, we help us move the needle in Milwaukee. To hear the success stories from Angela and Brandon firsthand are the reasons we are all here today and why we all believe in the strength of the programs they provide. And speaking of programs that, Milwaukee, uh, that we provide for Milwaukeeans, I am honored to introduce to you someone who knows this all too well, Mr. Willie Hines, Interim Director of the Housing Authority of the City of Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hicks. Um, the City of Milwaukee Housing Authority has had tremendous success over the years. Um, and we obviously are unable to do it by ourselves, but our executive director, Mr. Tony Perez, um, has put together a dynamic team of which many are in this room with a sole purpose of providing excellent services to our residents. Ms. LaDonna Foster, one of the resident council, is here today, so we thank you for joining us. But as indicated, we've, we've received a tremendous amount of support from our mayor, uh, from our city council. Um, we've received reports from financial partners. And in particular, when we talk in terms of PNC, they've done an outstanding job in partnering with Housing Authority on this particular development. Matter of fact, um, there are about $16 million worth of investment in our um, tax credit component, um, buying the tax credit, making it possible for us to build um, these outstanding structures. Um, they've also provided $60, $60 million worth of um, grant or dollar loans um, to ensure our continued success. Um, and, and Mr. Perez is committed, committed to building buildings, building communities, and building people. And this particular investment really makes it possible for us to continue our efforts in building people. Our partnership with Wibbick um, and Make Their Money Talk, they've played an excellent role in helping us to be able to um, ensure that our residents have access to um, resources where they can purchase homes, where they can establish businesses, where they can go back to school, where they too can become a part of the integrated, become integrated a part of the economic growth opportunities in this city. Um, they've done a great job and we're so excited to partner with them um, with a new initiative, the Black Business Boost. Um, as we look at the challenges that the city faces, uh, we recognize that while entrepreneurship is an opportunity for growth on any economy, the reality being those black businesses, brown businesses, minority businesses have not been able to excel at the level in which other businesses and other communities have. And so these resources will give those communities the opportunity to grow um, and expand and be able to be a part of the economic growth um, of this city. Um, uh, and so again, we're just so excited and happy to have um, be a part of this particular program. Um, it's interesting today, we also have with us uh, Mr. Rick Cole from the Congress of New Urbanism. And as they talk about their equity, uh, as PNC is talking about equity in the business community, they're talking about equity within their industries as well. And when we talk about success again, um, it's important for us to actualize the potential that exists throughout all communities. We leave a lot of um, potential uh, on the sidelines. Opportunities as such really gives us an opportunity um, give us the, the possibility to make dreams come true, to ensure that economic growth is occurring across the scale, um, and just to be a tremendous asset to, to this city. Again, on behalf of the City of Milwaukee um, Housing Authority, we are so honored and pleased to be a part of this program um, as we continue our efforts in building buildings, building communities, and building people. Again, on behalf of the City of Milwaukee Housing Authority, thank you so much. We're so honored to be a part of this process. Thank you. I'm John Gaines. I'm Vice President of Finance for Wibbick. Wanted to say first and foremost, uh, thank you to our partners. We're really darn excited to really partner with this Black Business Boost program. Some would call it a program. Some would call it a project. I would call it transformative. From that standpoint, our partners at PNC Bank, as well as Hackham, are doing everything we can to change communities one person at a time. <clears throat> One thing I'd like to also share with you as well, we've said before, and you've heard it before, and I certainly believe that it's true. Talent is equal, but opportunity is not. 
So we're really, really darn excited about our role in bringing opportunities, working with our partners to collaborate to really bring, again, black business boost uh, to this uh, fine community here at West Lawn and really the city community, the city of Milwaukee as well. Just wanted to be very brief and say thank you again for all of our partners. We are so darn excited to get this program up and running and get it kick started. One thing I'll share with you, if you are a business owner, if you are a person interested in business, we need to be a part of the Black Business Boost. So please make sure you reach out. We have information in the back, but there's also information online where we can go ahead and get started with this. With that, I'll close, and I want to bring up my colleague, uh, Colleen G. Jackson. So come on up, Colleen. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, like John said, I'm Kamal G. Jackson. I'm the Vice President for Programs and Operations with Webick. What an exciting day. Are you all excited? Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. It's not only an exciting day for PNC or the City of Milwaukee or Hackham or Webick or the community, but for small businesses. Today is that day. I don't know if all of you know, but small businesses are Webick's are the center of Wibix universe. And Wibix is the universe. <laughs> we serve the needs of small businesses in a way that makes tremendous impact in the community. Hearing Tony and Angela's story about how Wibix has helped them fulfills me as an employee at Wibix, knowing that we're fulfilling the purpose and our why every single day by putting dreams to work. We've built a lot of infrastructure in the last couple of months around this B3 Black Business Boost Fund. Really appreciate the partnership with PNC, with the city of Milwaukee, with Hackham to come together and saying, how do we become transform transformational in terms of providing access to capital for everybody? And how do we fulfill that role that WIBIC is in the center of Wisconsin? So in building that infrastructure, I am so thrilled and so pleased to introduce our very own Tiffany Miller, who will be the program manager that will be deploying and leading this effort with us in the city of Milwaukee. <laughs> Tiffany is a business owner herself. If you haven't check, checked out her business, go to the Brownsville Collective. That's where she's housed. But she also knows the struggles of being a small business owner especially for our communities of color, especially for our black businesses. So I'm really pleased that she's gonna be leading this effort. Thank you, Tiffany. Wanna say hi? <laughs> hi, thank you. I'm super excited to be a part of the Black Business Boost and partner with everyone in the room and beyond. Great, it's great work. Very exciting. Um, I have, there's a, uh, Angela told me that um, there's some banana pudding over there that's got my name on it, so um, I'm going to hurry up and I'm going to invite John back up here so we can close. This is not just an announcement today, ladies and gentlemen. This is a call to action for everybody that's in this room. If you know of investors, if you know of small businesses, connect with Wendy Bauman, myself, or John Gaines. We're here. They would say that's all, folks. Again, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much again for coming, for attending today. Again, thank you to our partners. We are so darn excited to get this moving. So let's get going for Black Business Boost, everybody. Thank you again. Thank you. I, say one more thing. I would be remiss if I did not say thank you to the PNC team, to the WIBIC team, to the City of Milwaukee, and uh, Hackham for logistically putting this together. This does not happen overnight. It took a lot of effort from a logistical perspective. It takes a village. We have a village here, so let's get moving. And I'm hungry, so I'm getting that. Thank you, everybody.